in the game of the average ignorant black and white man that do not want to take responsibility of their life. You made babies and you're supposed to be the father to those children. You're supposed to be there. You're supposed to provide for your family. Anybody that knows you're me, not doing anyone that. that knows me knows that I am a good father. No, you're not. And I'm I tell not you a good that, father. I tell you that based, in your face, based, you're, based you're not story. because you're not even sending any money to him. That's not really my was job. Concerned, that if, she is wanted, your job. if she wanted my money, she should have paid in the go, marriage. Go now. You're not, you're not going to see. See, you're dealing with Bishop Joseph Lee. And I raised my children. But I don't, I don't think you've and, actually. And, and I'm telling you, that's why I don't want to get involved. That's why she's here. But she don't, don't want to have anything to do with you. I don't want anything to do with her. I just want a thing to do with my kids. That's well, it. you do it right. It's, it's legally, about the children. Legally, you do it right. But I okay? will not pay the government to be a father. Listen, brother. So, so, so I can't see my children. You making the baby. No, you can't see your children. Okay. All right. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you. For my daughters, um, Anya and Isha, right? So, the date is, um, it's August 30th, 2024. I am just leaving the house that you guys are staying at. Now, me and your mother are divorced by the making of this video. And she has been actively keeping you guys away from me. I want you guys to have this video in case anything ever happens to me. I want you guys to know who your father is and I want you guys to know the truth. It's a shame that I have to come out and do this. Um, but unfortunately, uh, men don't seem to have a voice in society, especially fathers, when it comes to these type of issues. Um, I think a lot of time when it comes to men, especially black men, um, there's this notion where we are pretty much guilty until proven innocent. Um, first of all, anybody that knows me knows how I feel about you guys. They know that I love you. They know that I'm a darn good father. Now, this is not a video to be bashing your mother and certain things like that. There's a lot I can say about it, but it, it's not going to do you guys or me any favors by hammering in the reasons why we are not married, um, you know, that doesn't have anything to do with us individually as parents. Um, you know, she did what she did, you know, things are done, it is what it is. My focus is you guys. Now, I drove up there two and a half hours again. At the time of this particular video, um, I have not spoken to y'all technically since April, and we're in the month of August. I have not seen you guys since about October of last year. That is unacceptable. Unacceptable. I have written your mother letters that I still have. I sent them certified mail. She signed for them. I have reached out to her, sent her text messages. I've called her on social media. She has not answered. Um, She's reached out one time when she decided that she wanted to, which was last week. I got to speak to y'all twice in two days, and she stopped answering her phone again. Um, I get up there, and your great-grandfather slams the door in my face, tells me I'm not a good father because I won't uh, send her money, and I won't get on child support. And first of all, it is not my job to pay your mother to be a single mother. I've told your mother on numerous occasions that if she cannot afford you guys to give y'all to me, I will take care of y'all and I will not ask your mother for a dime. I won't ask her for a dime. Um, if I decided to end the marriage and I took y'all from y'all mother, I would be dead wrong to tell your mother that she needs to go through the court in order to have a relationship with y'all. That would be wrong. I would have never done this to your mother. I would have never done it. I can feel how I want about your mother, but I will not stop her from being a mother. You know, uh, she did not make you guys alone, and I have every right to you guys, and so does she. Um, I want you guys to know that I've never neglected you. I never would do anything like that. I love y'all more than 
probably y'all would ever know. And anybody that knows me knows how good of a father that I am. Um, at the end of the day, um, I'm an opponent of the child support system, the family court system. Uh, people that know me know that I have a passion against that stuff. I think that that very system is what has broken down black families. Um, I think it's horrible for black families and it has done only harm and no good. Uh, people might say, well, if you really care about them, why don't you just file a motion with the court? Well, here's the problem. One, that doesn't make me a father who cares, it makes me a weak father. Second of all, I'll tell you how that is likely to go. I would be on the hook for a check to your mother for up to 21 years while she still can do the very thing she's doing right now. She can still violate the custody arrangements. She can still not answer the phone. She can still not give you guys to me. And yet I'm still on the hook for paying her. And if I don't pay her, they'll send your father to jail. They'll revoke his passports. They'll put this on my credit report. All these negative things. Why should I reward your mother for breaking the family? I don't think that I should. Again, this is not a video to bash her, but you know, the truth is the truth. At the end of the day, I love you guys. I took that two hour drive. Your great grandfather talked to me like I was a, like I was a, like I was an animal, like I was the scum of the earth. Um, and I didn't react. I have the video. I said, so I can't see my children. He told me no. I said, okay. I walked away. You got fathers out here who don't even claim their children, and you got women who say. If he would just at least claim these kids and call them, I would be grateful. And I noticed that this happens a lot to good fathers because in this time period, a lot of men are going through this where we're being alienated from our children. And what they're doing is, like I said, they are withholding the children from the fathers, but they're telling people that we're neglecting y'all. So it's, I just think it's very conniving and it's very evil and it's very wrong. And I pray that God is merciful um, to your mother uh, in this situation. Um, I just think it's evil on every level. And regardless of the fact, I would have never done this to her. Uh, I pray that you guys, uh, that by the time y'all do see this video, that I am still alive and I'm still around. But, you know, God's will is God's will. And it may be God's will that I not be here. And if it's God's will, I'm perfectly fine with that at the same time. You know, I'm never going to stop pursuing you guys in one fashion or another. I'm never going to stop loving y'all. I'm going to continue building on y'all behalf. And when you guys are older, I'm going to show you that I was always here for y'all. I'm going to show y'all that. And I guarantee it. You're going to know that y'all had an amazing father. And, it, and it's a shame that when I was there, it was 100 degrees outside. Your mother left me outside for 10 minutes before they even answered the door. She wasn't even woman enough to have the conversation with me. She sent your great grandfather to basically cuss me out. After I took this two and a half hour drive, it didn't really matter. They still slammed the door in my face. I think that that was disingenuous, you know, to avoid even having the conversation with me. Um, you guys knew that I was at the door and I can hear y'all saying daddy's at the door. I can hear y'all saying this, like, but had it been up to her, she wouldn't even answer the door. And this is what I'm talking about. Why are you avoiding me? This is wrong on, on every level. And again, like I said, I just want y'all to know that I love y'all. Um, your daddy is here. Um, obviously, I do not have access to y'all, but y'all will have access to me. The moment that y'all are able to reach out, please do. I don't care where I am or what I'm doing. I'm here. But... I cannot bow down to the system, you know, and I love y'all enough to not involve the system. And regardless, one day y'all will understand that I'm protecting you guys from that system and I'm protecting myself. But I'm going to wrap this video up. I want you guys to know, um, you know, please do a character reference check on me. God forbid if I'm not here anymore. There are plenty of people who, who truly know me that will vouch for the kind of father that I am. And, um, you know, I'm praying that the Lord's will be done um, in your lives as well as my life and that God will uh, do his part in 
bringing you guys back to your father. You know, I love you guys. Um, Anya Isha Wright, I am forever your father, and I am forever going to love y'all.